Welcome back to Third Age Total War, where apparently the Council wants us to, uh, start dip initiate diplomatic relations with the Ents of Fangorn. Okay. Ithelian attacked. Let's see what the- let's see what the situation is. Not good. But Gondor has a lot of armies, so they'll probably be able to handle that pretty- pretty easily. Faction announcements. Taurian the Honest now is an artist, and Dalgon has a pickpocket. Where is he? Ah. He's my new, uh, he's my new guy. Okay. Okay. My lord. We shall start moving him, uh, over here. Okay, you done? Okay. I am but an ally, lord. There's, uh, a bunch of Breland armies moving in on, uh, Alkfoot again. So, uh... I think it's time to start moving Glorfindel back after a single turn. Uh, this time with superior forces. Let's see, let's get these archers. These archers, because they have seven experience each. Get the Aldar Winwi, of course. We will, uh, you know, grab our full swordsman units here. Right, right, okay. Um, I'll save this. We'll, we'll keep the Sindar archers here, I think. I'll grab another unit of, uh, another full unit of archers. Two more. And that leaves us to get a garrison of five. I don't think they're, I don't think these, this army's gonna do anything. The forces of Eriador are too close for them. <laughs> and we'll send up Glorfindel again. Wait, why is it, why is it gonna take three turns? It only took two turns last time. And especially since we have paved roads in our region now. I am confused by this fact! <sighs> we must give up the road. Well, maybe it'll change next turn, who knows. Dirt roads, or at least it would have taken two turns. Anyway, dirt roads at Bregost. Now we have a slightly easier traversing of this region. Slightly easier traversing of this region. And the roads don't exactly have... It's substantially greater coverage than they did before. Um, uh, you know what? Let's get a Hall of Song now to kill some of that corruption there. Recruitment report. Landaire. This has completed all that stuff. And the end of turn report, which I didn't look at first. You'd think I would, but uh, I am not the most organized of leaders. And I think that's pretty obvious. Also, now we can send our Sindar guards to back to the north. To replenish at Londar. Der, der. Derpy, der, der. Okay, so. Uh, let's recruit. Okay, we can't recruit anything here. What am I talking about? What kind of insanity is this? I can't recruit anyone. Alright, um. Let's, uh, let's get some of our units out of here. We'll keep the Sindar archers and... And the and the, that tiny group of swordsmen here. Oh. Yay, it's public order just skyrocketed downward. Ships ready. But it'll be fine, I'm sure. Gonna merge That's him fine. here at Londangren. Angren. 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 Right? Deposited. And let's see. Right. Up here in Landar, we'll const build, construct. We'll uh, train some Sindar spearmen, rather. Sidori, can we do? No, definitely not. Two turns, though, for the Teleri archers, but I'm not going to do anything with those. Because Sidori has a very, very long uh, recruitment phase, as does Karas Ka Nernalet here. Karas. Karas! Ya Karas! Okay. I'm fine, shut up. Okay, we'll train some of these here. And then we'll ferry them over the, uh... Well, then we'll ferry them over to, uh... 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 Londangren here. My lord. Approaching quietly. Okay, spy. Man, the spy approached so quietly, he, like, teleported from place to place. Did you see that? Anyway! I know I'm being silly. It's normal for me, you know that. Oh, silly me. Okay, anyway. You know, I really have no idea where the settlement for Druithiar is. I just don't. I can't figure it out. Ended by Fort. 
You have forts all along and by territory, but... Let's see. Ah, yes, here's the main navy. Admiral Elro here with his, uh, with his shipwright. And to think, we're almost done with this, with this foolish war against the Wildmen. I say it's foolish because the Wildmen are fools. And it has nothing to do with the fact that I kind of aggressively attacked a non-aggressive power. Anyway! Yep, totally has nothing to do with that. Nope. Nope. Why would you lie? Why would you lie about that? You cruel, cruel, cruel person, you. Disgusting. Onward! Come along, horsemen, come along. Forma. Yeah, one kind of would have hoped there would have been a road here, but alas, there is not. It's a good thing they're horsemen. Okay, Captain Selian. Selian, wasn't he one of our generals? In uh, the Sylvan Elves playthrough? I think so. No, no, he was one of our governors. I think he was a governor of... Uh, the governor of Thranduil's Halls after I, uh, moved Thranduil out of Thranduil's Halls. Way to state the obvious, me. Bravo. Anyway. <laughs> um, alright. Okay, let's see. Anything else to train? We have Mithlon Nobles here. But of course, naturally, everything is expensive, and I only have about 3,000 income. You know, the... Well, the nobles, on the other hand, only have the have equivalent uh, have equivalent upkeep to uh, to the spearmen and the guards, so that's actually not too bad. The only the most expensive unit actually is the elder Rinwe here. Wow, I mean, look at it. 686, almost 700, 700 uh, there. That's that's a big number. That is a big number. Hmm. Can I build Mithlon Nobles? I don't think so, not yet. Save myself some money. I don't really need them against the clans of Enidwife. I'll need them later, though. I'll need I'll need them for when they're gonna be the hardest to retrain possible. <laughs> when they're far, far away down in Umbar and Harad and Mordor. Yeah, that's when I'm gonna need them. Obviously I'll be relying on my uh I'll be obviously I'll be relying on everything but my uh, dedicated Linden forces. You know, after at, at that point, you know, I can't. You know, I just can't afford to use Mithlon Nobles. Well, I might be able to use Mithlon Nobles, especially if they don't take heavy casualties. With that high defense, they may not. Then again, the Sindar Guards did kind of, you know, implode. But I won't be using Linden Long Spears. You know, with their low defenses, they have better. They have pretty good. They have pretty damn, damn pretty, pretty damn good attack there, don't they? But um, you know, with their lower defenses, though, Linden's Long Long Spears are pretty vulnerable. So. Uh, they probably won't be seeing action... They probably won't be seeing much action beyond the war in Enidwife here. So. Alright, I think it's about time to, uh... To end the turn, so... Until next turn. It's almost as if the game heard... Heard me when I said that it was going a little too easy for the... For the forces of good. Ithilien lost. Ill news indeed. The enemy have struck a critical blow in their war against Gondor. My voice cracked. The heights of Emin Arnen have been taken. The brave defenders swept away in a bloody onslaught. Many Gondorian families will mourn the loss of husbands, fathers, and brothers. The loss of so many sons of Gondor to the relentless assault of the enemy uh, will be a blow that will be hard to recover from. Even now, the enemy spies upon the White City from the lookout post situated throughout the Emin Arnen. Surely the sword of Gondor must risk more of his forces to take back such a strategic location. Our spies are blah 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 blah. Yes, Harad took Osteth Ostethil. And a turn report. Thank you for the scroll, whoever you are. Thank you. Construction complete. Communal farming in Perth and Loon. Uh, how are we doing here? Uh, we got a, actually have a decent amount of corruption, so let's uh, get let's purge that with a hall of song. We shall sing the corruption away. Oh, if only we could do that in ca in Washington or any number of national capitals. Anyway. Okay. Thank you. War declared between Mordor and the Dwarves of Erebor and the Iron Hills. Why? What's going on there? What's going on along the Kelduin? I fear for the future of Middle-earth. 
All right. Let us grab these units and march them to London. My cursor looks all messed up again. You can't see it, but my... Wow, it looks really messed up. I'm serious. I can't really tell what I'm clicking. Okay, there we go. So the edge of the cursor... Okay. Seriously, it, it, I may, I, you may remember me mentioning it looks like a screw. That's exactly what it looks like. I have no idea what's causing it. Now it looks like two screws. And that changes colors whenever, depending on, uh, depending on where I put my mouse. There we go. It's back to normal now. That was weird. Again. Because it looks really freaky. It does. So it looks like Moot Lord Tremak the, the Just is, uh... ...is prepared for any advances on elk food. <laughs> Still sounds like some sort of dog food or something. Elk fud, elk food, I don't know. But it's that's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like... Yeah. Halls. Oh, interesting. Looks like they have a very different, uh... ...clan halls. That's interesting. That's a... That's like... ...its own building. Okay, that's interesting. And it's... Looks like the clans of Enidwife work quite differently. Better settle matters on the field of battle. All right. Since Ariador didn't really advance like I kind of hoped they would, I'm going to uh, hide in the trees. Did I just miss the trees? No, I didn't. Okay. They are in the forest. Gonna hide in the trees and hope that Moot Lord Tremac the Just attacks me. Because that will be the best case scenario, because I'll be able to shoot him with all my archers of gloriousness. And I have so much infantry, too. And that will leave Elkfood vulnerable. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if it's attackable, so we'll see. Uh, rather, I don't know if they spy the gate open, so I'm not going to risk doing that, because I can't retreat or anything. That didn't sound right the way I said it. It sounded like I said caress in a really weird way. Yes, caress! Anyway, Form up. we train. Okay, we can train those archers, but we'll wait a bit. Okay. And then, of course, we have additional reinforcements on, on their way from uh, from Dolvorn and uh, Elves. and all the way in Linden. So, I also forgot about this spy and two diplomats. So let's. Uh, Fix this problem from last turn. Do the, yeah, work on do them. Work on them now. Work on them now, rather. You can keep going. It's fine. It's okay. Just they just have a dream. Had a, had a dream. Dream. Yeah. You know, I'll move this navy back over here. For the inevitable gathering of inevitable, inevitable gathering of the armies. Let's see. Hmm. All right, let's see what the status of this army is. A little battered, but it could go for Karas, Karas, Karas here. But first, let's see if we can get the spy inside it. Yes, my lord. Gathering intelligence. All right, he's in. He's in. Good job there. Good job there, uh, Glender. Glender. Okay. Okay, it's good. Thing is, I want to. I kind of want to wait for the reinforcements. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't need to wait for the reinforcements, do I? Really? Elves, elven warriors, elven warriors. So we'll take everyone but Tarian, I think. Tarian can continue to govern here, and we'll start marching on Karas, Karas, Karas. Yeah, 
and uh, hope that uh, you know the enemy doesn't get any bright ideas and decide to kind of strike out of nowhere, because that would be terrible. Absolutely and completely terrible. Why am I sending him this way now? That I think about it. I can just go south. Conceal our movements. Down there. Yes, my Same Lord. with you. You can just go straight south to. Not the boat. And I just deselected him. Oh well. We'll figure that one out when the time comes. Alright, save. Let's see if we get engaged in battle. By the moot lord. Of the Ened. Of the. Of the Ened wife. Of Ened wife. As soon as I look at this. As soon as I look at him again. Utterly immaculate. Look at that. Plus six to law. Be honest. They're both honest. They must have rather interesting conversa rather interesting conversations, eh? I must admit, I lusted after your wife. I did too. Anyway, that was a uh, that was not a reference to anything, as far as I know. So <laughs> that was just me being random. In turn, forgot about you again. Uh, so as the AI was taking its turns, they decided very. They decided, hey, we're just going to besiege Alkfud. And, you know, they defeated this army, and then Captain Asher decided to speech besiege Alkfoot, and... I know they're not gonna lose, even if Moot Lord Tramak attacks them, so... I'm gonna take a big risk and attack it myself. Engage. Gates are open, yes! 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just don't want Ariador taking it. I don't. They're rolling th they're going through everything so easily, that like, it's almost like they're stealing territory these days, so... Let us assault. Oh, well, relations worsened because, you know, they weren't bad before. Oh, wild land defenders. Wild men defenders, rather. Wild, wild land defenders. Close the scroll and fight. fight to the end. I know, it's a little cheaty, but... Start the deployment. For our spy has done it. He has given us the he has given us the opportunity something. He's given us something. We'll go with that. So let's just let's just deploy in semi-rational battle lines. Yeah, just start out with. Where is the side gate? Where's that? Oh, there's gates on both sides, it looks like. So, we can enter on multiple angles if we want. That, what? I selected two archer units. There we go. Okay. We'll enter from two angles. Because we outnumber the enemy anyway. Alright, here's what we'll do. Play this here. Play this here. Keep the generals together. No. Yeah, yeah, let's keep the generals together, why not? And everyone else? Where are, there we are. Okay. You shall join your Eldar when we archer brother people. Excellent! Our spy has opened the gates! Let's be done with this wretched siege. Yes! I mean, we just started it, but let's be done with it, too. Because that makes sense. Just gonna rain arrows in them from the front on them on the front from the front because that's where they mostly are. Are they going to intercept uh, this flank? Because I'll meet them if they if they are, you know. Let's go to the other flank and see what's going on here. Can't tell what the enemy is quite what the enemy is doing. It looks like they're heading for the sound square. I just don't know why they're going this way. Is 
So let's be safe. And have the swordsmen run in now. Just run. And the archers will come in behind them. They're being shot by the towers of the town, but they will not defeat us, for they are just towers. Okay, let's get these archers on the wall. Let's get you guys marching. Battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Mm -hmm. Kill the moot keepers, for they are bugging up. They are bugging up like hell. Something that makes sense. Shut up. They all the Great Flood Raiders. Okay, guys, could you? Do you? You don't know, screw it. Just deploying a line on the ground since you're not going to go up on the wall. It's fine. Ugh, lazy asses. I swear, what do we pay them for? I cannot see because of my speaker. There we go. Well, it looks like the Great Flood Raiders were massacred, so... Ah, oh, crap, they're javelining us! Are they at least hitting some of their own men, or are they just, like, perfectly throwing javelins over the heads of their own men? Because that'd be... because that's just stupid. I think they're just perfectly throwing javelins over the heads of their own men, which would explain what happened to those Sindar guards a few battles ago. Which means I'm even more unhappy about it now, because that doesn't make any damn sense. You know, I mean, I mean, if archers can't do... If, if archers can't do it, then most certainly... You know, most certainly, they, uh, uh, you know, the these troops cannot. You know, you can't throw that accurately. Let's shoot the foresters of Haleth. At least we're killing the Grey Flood Raiders quickly. Beat these spearmen! They are militia. They are weak. Only half the enemy force remains. After them, men! After them! Chase them down! What? There's supposed to be something here, I'm pretty sure. I just realized this big green open space doesn't make any sense. Oh, we're slaughtering the foresters of Haleth, wow. Yes, I'm surprised by the ability of my own men to kill things. Even I'm inclined- even I'm occasionally inclined to un underest uh, underestimate the elves.
Oh, the more Wildman defenders, the better. Oh, look, Foresters of Halith. You're not doing well, are you? Where are the General's bodyguards? What? 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 What in God's name is Glorfindel doing there? And where's Maluion? Oh, for crying out loud. Get over here! Uh, I don't know why they did that. I really don't. Alright, so we'll deploy you here. Deploy you here. Run. And, nope, not skirt. There we go, run. Not spread, rather. Skirt. But, ah, whatever! I don't know what I'm saying anymore. That's not English. It is not, uh, it's not the English. Sorry if I haven't shown you too much of this battle, by the way. I've just, uh, been busy with the long view. Swordsmen! Slay them! Slay them all! Quickly! Deforest them! Oh, that's the enemy general there in the middle, I think. Right here in the red cloak. Mm, looks like these flags don't have textures. Anyway. Got him! Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Yes. Yes, they will. Oh, <laughs> looks like the Elder Winwee got uh, did their job. Attack! Attack the foresters of Haleth. Our men are in command of the city! There's some of the Wildman defenders, uh, broken ran. No need to get slaughtered by hundreds of arrows. We're shooting our own men. So I think that's about time to end this fire at will thing. Same with you. No more firing at will. No more. No more. Go, General's bodyguards! They, uh, the swordsmen have this! They really do. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Kill them! Kill them! Continue! Destroy them all! They're running right into you! S destroy them! Their spears are nothing compared to ours! Look at the blades on the tips of our spears! They are weak. But they are men. Dishonorable men at that. You know, this isn't... This isn't your, uh, this isn't your mother's Dunedain. the victory we have won here today! Whatever. Hooray! Only 134 casualties, because we recovered a whole bunch of those swordsmen we lost, though this unit didn't really recover that much. Jerks. Jerks, why are you bleeding all over the floor? Recover, you weaklings! Oh, what's going on? Stop it. Please, there we go. And thus, Eriodor was denied. And it further entered wife territory. Denied, I say. Denied. What's the size of its pop- Ugh, I wish I could tell its population. I'm just gonna occupy again, cause- Well, I wanna get all that money from looting- Yeah, you want- Oh, it can upgrade now. It can upgrade to a city. But they never built- They could build paved roads this entire time, they didn't. Could've made my invasion so much easier, you bums. Lord Glorfindel the Mighty! Sorry.
Sorry. Sorry, I'm okay. He is a legendary commander. Glorvendel the Mighty. I'm gonna build roads here first, I think. There's no way I should build an artist studio. Start getting myself some culture because it's all middlemen and nothing, apparently. All middlemen and nothing. So. And enemy army routes. Under the... Uh, but at the... At the, the something. An something! Stock side. Uh, don't know. I'm stumbling all over my words. Leave me alone. Alright, yes. Van Affenden is already moving out, so. Van Affenden. Van Affenden. So. I guess that just leaves us to uh, end the turn again. Uh, actually, this actually is a very good time, I think, to end the video. So. Because, you know, major battle, and we've captured uh, the enemy capital. So, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time, when the true end of the war against Enidwyth comes. Because seriously, there's, there's no way we're not going to end it next, next turn, you know? This, that's almost impossible, really, to not end it next turn. That'd be, that'd be just pathetic if we didn't. Ariador, are you going to give me cover against these armies? Are you? You better. You better. You owe me. Remember that time I bailed- remember that time I bailed Barliman out of jail? Yeah. Yeah. That's why he's Barliman the Scarred. I bailed him out of jail. Got into a pretty bad- pretty bad prison fight. You know, saved his life by bailing him out at that moment. Yep, totally. Anyway, thanks for watching again, and I'll catch you next time.